So when when did you uh like really start to get serious with rapping and everything? Shit, mom. When my uncle, man, he took me to the studio. Um, that shit was on like sixteen, fifteen. And I was just fucking around. Like he just kept making me go to the studio. Like we out tonight. We out tomorrow. We out. Like, I just stuck with that shit. Even when SoundCloud had the fucking, you could record yourself. I used to put the phone next to this shit, press record. Like I used to be recording like that. Like mm. always doing that shit. Definitely. So who who do you want to sound like at first, or what what style did you have going at first? Style. I never really had like. I had people I listened to, but I was really trying to make my own style, really. Like, I just feel like your style is so out of the ordinary that there had to have been a, a period of time early on where you were kind of rapping in more of a normal way, and then you kind of yeah. just kept freaking it. Yeah, that's why I, I call that shit the um the chalkboard. Like, I'm always at the chalkboard just trying some new shit out, like trying mm. new flows, all that shit. Because like, I don't want to keep sounding the same. Like, that shit get boring. Right, yeah. I mean, when I was, like, Googling you last night, I fucking finally got the reminder of something I totally forgot about, which was back in the day when Bari called out Yachty for <laughs> jacking your flow, which I had totally forgot about. But I remember we talked all about it on the podcast and everything. It was probably a good look for you just to have people talking about you like that. But do you remember how you felt when that conversation came up? Yeah, I mean, I remember that shit. Hell yeah. Yeah, like, what, what did you think? You think Bari had a point? I mean, yeah, hell yeah, definitely. I mean, it's just certain ways you do certain shit. I mm. feel like, for me, I don't think he, like, I know they probably had their own shit, like, their own little fallout, but I just feel like what he said wasn't wrong. Like, basically, like, we just getting a spotlight on us, like, let them have their time or, like, really tap in with us or really fuck with us. Like, mm. You feel me? Like, it is what it is. Like, is yeah. Have you ever met Yachty? Yeah, I spoke to Yachty on the phone. After that shit? Yeah. Oh. I spoke on the phone. And he was showing love? Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, hell yeah. Doesn't sound like it was that much love. I mean, it was just like <laughs> it was like a quick conversation. Like we never got to the like right. really got to like to the bottom of that shit. Like Well, you know what's funny is that like then a couple years later when Yachty's like really fucking with the Flint wave and like rapping and everything like that, then he he actually went there and did a whole tape exactly. and like kind of put all these dudes on in a way that made and them I don't all need fuck to get with put them. On. Like I'm just saying, like if you're going to jack our style or like start fucking with our style, like just mm. show genuine love. That's all I want. I don't want nothing from nobody. I can get to it. Like I've always been getting to it. So you know, like, definitely. No people definitely told. Them. But it's it's wild because if, I think back in the day in hip hop, stealing flows used to be a way bigger deal. And now it feels like it just happens and that there's like, there's no control of it. That shit just goes down. Like, like if somebody comes out and they got a real influential flow yeah. that you can pretty much count on it, that within a few months, you're going to hear a bunch of other people fucking with it. Like, That's but is that shit to you? Is that kind of like against the code? Like, like you can't just straight jack somebody's cadence. I mean, yeah, you like, nah, hell no. You can't just jack someone's cadence and not show love. Like, definitely. I'm not jacking that. I wouldn't do that. Mm. If I'm getting on some Detroit beats, I'm gonna holler at some Detroit people. Like, yo, got some shit. That's why on my tape I did something with GT. Mm. When I did a Detroit beat, I holler at GT. Shout out GT. Shout out GT. Legend. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I was just talking to a uh, Cash Kid, and he was telling me that he grew up playing playing sports with GT. Fine. Small world. That's crazy. Um, but yeah, I mean that, that that's interesting. So who who do you feel like? Was there anybody that kind of helped you arrive at your style, like as you as you sort of started rapping more like that? Because I I feel like it, it's sort of similar to like some of the DMV flow stuff that might have been going on around there, but also yeah. maybe that stuff kind of came after you started rapping yeah. like that. Like like, what do you think are the kind of roots of it? I mean, shout out to the DMV. I don't really feel like I got like a DMV flow. Like I listen to DMV. I, you know, do my brother shout out my boy Luciano. That's my brother's right. Little dude, my brother. So. And my boy TTM Dog, like it's a whole family. Harpy, Goonwick, it's like it's a whole family. Like we really, like, oof, like, fuck the rap. Like we really in tune. Like those are really my people. So right. So it's just, I don't know. But but there are like other unique things about your style too, where it's kind of like you whisper a little bit more often yeah. than not. I I feel like you usually don't do ad libs. Yeah, I only do ad libs. You don't do them at all, or you never do them. I did them before, you? but I just stopped. Like I doing them shits like mid, like. My oh yeah is like my ad lib now. Like right. instead of me just doing ad libs. Do you but is there like was there a specific <laughs> thing that made you want to stop doing ad libs? Cause sometimes it does kind of feel like a crutch. Yeah, right? like I ain't like how some of them shit just sound on my tracks. Like 
I, I just feel like I grew out of Abbott. So. Sometimes I'll be listening to a rapper, like a, a legit rapper that I respect, and I'll start to think about the ad libs, and I'll start to think about how dumb they sound, and exactly I can't, I can't stop thinking about it. <laughs> but there's some wild ad lib eras, like the sort of like Waka Flocka Chief Keef era, where the ad libs were like louder than the vocals. Yeah, that that shit's crazy to look back on. Yeah, I fuck with that. Like like the new ad lib I've been fucking with, um, was having shit. Like, like nigga, uh, like I fuck with that shit. Like it's different. Alice, like certain people, Alice is stick. Some of them is not. Mm. Don't stick. That's why I just left that shit. I right. see they was fucking with the old year. I just stuck with that. Like right. Word. But you feel like you got to keep like pushing your flow in order to sort of stay ahead of the game because you know that people are sort of even if they're not directly trying to bite that they're gonna kind of inherit little pieces of it. Hell yeah, I gotta like always update my flow, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Like I said, it's a new rapper every day. So you gotta stay on top of that shit. Mm. I ain't gonna lie. Yo, we just hit 400,000 subscribers right here on the Clips channel. So if you wanna help us out, click subscribe, get us to 500K. Yeah.